Hello everybody, this is Rob Mr. King, and today I'm going to do a quick Photoshop CS5 tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to open a non-raw image file in Camera Raw. Okay, so um, this is actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. So uh, that's what I'm here to show you. So what you're going to do is you are going to go up to File and click open as then this is gonna come up and you're just going to click a file so as you can see right here this is JPEG well actually you can't but uh... well can you yeah now you can't item type JPEG so you're gonna uh... click it and you're not gonna press open just yet you're going to go down to this drop, uh, sorry, drop down menu here and click camera raw. Click it, then press open. And just wait a sec. It has to process it because it's not a raw image. So now we have this image here. And um, I'm going to quickly go through the basic things of Camera Raw. So what you can do is the first thing that you're going to be prompted with is the temperature. Basically, if you bring the temperature up, it's going to add more yellow to the image to make it look like a warmer day. If you bring it down, it's going to make it... You don't want to bring it too down. That's way too dramatic. So, I mean, to really be effective, you want to... I mean, that looks way colder than that. I mean, so... You don't want to go too strong with it because it can get overdone. So that's basically temperature. Then tint is, um, it basically just modifies the temperature. Exposure, here. Uh, recovery, it's, um, I think this is actually a type of contrast. It adds, uh, it, I think it makes your blacks darker. Fill light, um, this See how the foreground of this image is really dark. So, I mean, if, if you want to, you can, uh, this, that's what fill light's used for. So, see how much brighter that is then. Um, and then blacks is just the form of contrast, but it brings out just the, it makes the blacks just darker. But the, um, the contrast, it makes the whole image more contrasty. So, brightness, you guys know what that is. Clarity. Um, it's actually this is actually a form of contrast, but just works with specific regions that need contrast. Vibrance. Um, this usually affects mostly your greens. I say that it works most for green saturation. If you bring it all the way down, you can see how it's turning like a black and whitish. So if you want to do like an off black and white, you can tell that's completely black and white. If you want to do an off black and white, you use the saturation thing. If you want to see that looks a little bit overdone. Okay. So that's basically the basics of uh, Camera Raw. You, there's a many other things that you could do here. Split toning. I mean, this is actually almost just like um, Lightroom 3, but it just doesn't have... Uh, it almost has everything. It just looks a little bit different and is in Photoshop. So, and then, um, once you're done with the image, you're going to press either Save Image down at the bottom left, and that is going to, um, that's basically going to save the image how you edited it just now. Open image will open the image how you see it after you edited it in, phone, in Photoshop. Then cancel will disregard all the settings you just made and um, will go back to regular. Done will save the file and put it back into the folder it was. So I'm going to press cancel for right now. Sorry, it's, it's, um, okay. I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to save this. Because I just randomly press buttons. Okay. And, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a, just a quick tutorial on how to open a JPEG image in Camera Raw or any type of, um, image. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to be doing a lot more CS5 tutorials, so stay tuned for all those. See you next time.